In this video, I'll solve the cube from start to finish using the moves that I've explained in some of the other videos. Okay, let's start out by picking a side. <clears throat> I'll take white as usual, and we'll solve the edge pieces. So this is step one. Move the edge piece to the top layer, put it in place. Does the white green? Here's the orange and blue, it's lined up quite nicely. And white red is the last piece. And I'll just slide it in like that. So that completes step one. That's the U face done, the U face edge pieces. Next is three corners. Here's a convenient one white, orange, green on the D face. It needs to go right there, so I just slide it below and move it into place. Here's another corner piece. This is the white, green, red. Move it into the correct position and twist it into place. And finally, I'll do this one here. So that solves three of the corner pieces from the U face. And that finishes step two. Now we turn the cube upside down. So the previous U face is now the D face. And then we're doing three edge pieces here, here, and here. Move the D face, <clears throat> find the right piece so it's red, green. Move it into place. And the next one is the orange green. Now, this one's over here. We need it for it to be over here in order to actually process it using this move. So I'll need to just remove it from its location. One thing I notice here is that the blue orange piece needs to go in there. So if I move the blue orange piece in here, then this one will come out to the top layer. So, very similar moves. That solves that. And I can go back to working on this one. There's the green orange piece all ready to go. Move the orange colored side, move the edge piece into place, and we're done. I return the D face to normal, and that well, we can see now we've solved the first uh, two thirds of the cube minus these two pieces here. So the next <clears throat> part is to do these three edge pieces that are on the U face. So I notice here that this one and this one would already be done if the cube was like this. So that's part of our work done. And the other piece is I need to put this over here. So first of all, I move it into the working space there. I'll move the U face like that. Move the old working piece out into the U face. And then I'll need to bring this back into here. So twist it like that, and then slide it into the working position. And then now it's easy to put this over here, just by lining it up, and inserting one of the pieces that is not solved. So that's kind of halfway through step number four. <clears throat> now we notice that these pieces are in the correct place, but they're inverted incorrectly. So we apply the move from the second bullet point, B, U prime, B prime, U, R prime, U, R, U prime. And that does what we were looking for. Now we're moving on to step five. <clears throat> This piece contains the color from the D layer, so we don't want to use that. We'll move a corner piece that needs moving into this UFL position. So this one needs moving. It needs to go here. So I'll do the move. L, D squared, L prime. Move the U face over. Do the move again. And that solves that. Now. Moving on to step six, all of the corner pieces are in the right place, so we just need to orient them correctly. I'll find a pair of them. This needs counterclockwise, this needs clockwise. So I'll do the move. So 
so that's half done. Move another piece into the UFL position and do the opposite move. And that leaves us with two remaining corners. So one clockwise, one counterclockwise, and L, D squared, L prime, F prime, D squared, F. Move the other corner piece into place and the other move. So that's F prime, D squared, F, L, D squared, L prime, and fix up the U face. So that finishes cube. Oops, almost dropped it.